I'm Victoria Wolf, co-founder and CEO of Victoria's Gluten-Free Kitchen. If you're, if you're the loved one of a gluten-free person, you could be going through a lot of different things. You could be unhappy with the food that's being offered because your gluten-free person isn't skilled enough as a cook. If that's the case, then get in the kitchen with your gluten-free person and, and help them you know, cook with them. The, the worst thing you can do is to isolate them and make it 100% their, their, their problems. Like, yeah, you figure this out and then, and then I'll eat it. They need as much support as they can get and you cooking with them makes it easier for them because they're, they're stressed too. I mean, if they don't have the cooking skills they believe that they, they need to have to make their, you know, make food for the family, then, you know, they're, they're going to be worried about that. So if you get in there with them, that, that's a huge thing. It's like if you're in a gluten-free home, you're really not missing out because you can go out at any time and eat as much gluten a, as you want. So never feel like you're, you're missing out because you can always like, oh, honey, I got, I got to go to the store and you need to go out and grab a slice or something or whatever, whatever you're needing. I think some of the same things for the gluten-free person would apply to the gluten-free loved one is be open-minded and, and be, be capable of experimenting. This is going to be a little different. It's not going to be your life that, that you had pre-gluten-free, but um, it, can be, it can be a good, healthy life. And most of the time when you go gluten-free, it actually leads to healthier eating because you know gluten-free products are expensive and you don't want to you know you can't be having them at every single meal it becomes more i guess of a treat as and then it does a, you know a standard so you're going to be eating healthier and be happy about that Thanks.